Superintendent Greg Atkins tells me he met with the Lee County manager yesterday to discuss funding of SRO officers in our school. He tells me that after that conversation, he is confident that funding for SRO officers will continue. How are your tax dollars being spent? A question that now has an answer. We have a lot of maintenance projects, the air conditioning, uh, windows, that type of thing. Today a news conference was held to show you the voters where the half cent more you are paying is going. This gives us an opportunity to, to literally report to the community and seeing their tax dollars in action. At the last workshop meeting, county missioners proposed coming up with ways to continue funding the placement of officers within schools, which right now is costing the county $3 million. Yesterday, the superintendent of Lee County Schools met with the county officials to discuss ways funding can still come from the county without having any effects. We would have to make uh, reductions in our current budget to make that happen, which is, would most likely impact uh, the classroom. If the county money were to go elsewhere, the district will have to make up the shortfall. But district officials are confident county leaders want to keep kids safe. I came away from that really believing that our, our county is certainly uh, continues to be very supportive of funding SROs across our district. And you can count on NBC2 to let you know when a decision is made for funding officers in your child's school. In Lee County, Joseph Ojo, NBC2.